Hey, what's up guys? I want to do a quick comparison of Pirelli TD, Super Corsa TD versus S22. Same size tire, two different bikes, same track, uh, probably two weeks apart. But I just want to show you, I apologize, I don't apologize. I don't have any footage. I had a horrible time last year trying to get track day video. It seemed like every time I went, something messed up or something wouldn't work right. But, so all you were gonna see is after the fact, I just wanna show you the two tires in my garage on the ZX-10 running the Pirelli TD, full track bike, Olin suspension, Nitron front, 100% stock suspension, GSXR 1000R running the S22 tires. So, ZX-10 first day or first time on the track with these tire, not first time, but this was the first bike on the track. I'm just gonna show you. This is Pirelli TD. One day on track, um, CMP is notorious for a lot of right turns, I think. No, left turns, let me think. So sorry, took me a while, I blew, drew a blank. But anyway, it's notorious for a lot of right turns. This tire has not been flipped and it's probably going to be hard to see in the video, but you can see that the right side of the tire is actually worn more than the left. Uh, I had a trip to Jenny's plan, so I thought it would balance out, but I, this tire I will actually flip before I get back on track anywhere other than Jenny's, which is predominantly left from what I remember. But this is the tire and... <laughs> You can see a little bit of rippling or a little bit of bubbling or I shouldn't say tearing, but what I would consider good wear. I do run traction control as well. Uh, this is about a 145 lap, so keep that in mind. Quickest, yeah, I think quickest was 142, but most of my laps were 145 to 148. All right, so this tone S22 and why I am such a big fan of the S22 for anything, even track days. You can see a little bit of wear or scuffing, bubbling here, or nothing that I would call, say, excessive. Actually looks good. This is stock suspension too. Um, I think I ran about 30 pounds pressure here. I honestly don't know that, but I just want to show you that this bike on these tires, a couple weeks later, I was actually turning quicker lap times on the S22 than the TD. And I think a lot of that is just what I learned from being going there the week before, two weeks before. So I don't want to say it was the tires. And the tires I was, if you're familiar with CMP and the carousel, I did take it easy through the carousel. And basically as the day went on and I got more confident, I did begin to push them long quicker. But I'd say this was probably a low 142. I'd say on average, with the TDs that day, a 145 to 148 was probably my average times or my times for this was probably 145 to 142, not really pushing it. So my point being is just that the S22 is plenty for almost for many we'll just say novice and intermediate riders and even the advanced if as long as you uh, ride to the tire this traction control on as well um another thing is full day and notice that the tires doesn't have that same wear right left bias that the td does so anyway i hope this is helpful and give people confidence in the um S22, it is a great tire. It's, I mean, it's great in the wet and it's great in the dry. Anyway, later.